All right, so he said he hopes coaching. So if you don't know who this is, this is Yagami. He recently got third place in, oops, wrong out of the way. He recently got third place in uh, Esports World Cup using Reyna, right? And there was no coaching at all because pretty much there was no designated coaching or nothing. It was all 1v1, right? And I agree with him, by the way. This has been an ongoing thing, uh, discussion for like the past couple days, right? And full oh, speed kicks. Speed kicks tweeted about this because, hey, a lot of people are getting tired of the coaching. Like, as, in terms of, you know, it, it's slowing up the matches and everything. Let's see. All right, so this is what Speed Kick said. Pro player who dedicates a large amount of their time training, traveling, and competing for Tekken. I think coaching is bad for competitive Tekken. He replies, I don't know about this video game stuff, but I'll be watching boxing. And that's pretty much what they be saying, right? So the whole thing is they want to be like, oh, well, is this coaching in sports? Coaching in, is fine. F you're thinking a lot more, and there's a lot more that you could just tell somebody in the fighting game at the highest level like if you're fucking trash joe schmo the advice is probably not going to help you but if you're a perfect legend or speed kicks or tokido or somebody of that stature and say you're getting hit by something that you and it's just not obvious to you, you tell them that boom they can make the adjustment on the fly i'll give you a real world example one that i i experienced myself okay um CD Jr. and myself were playing each other in, here's another uh, dumb thing. This guy, well, I, so let me get into this example. So, well, not example, what happened? Me and CD Jr. were playing each other in uh, Combo Breaker 2017 in Justice 2. It's the last game, last round, right? And all he needs to do to win is to turn his trade on with Black Adam and then meter burn roll in and I have to take unblockable chip damage that I can't even stop coming at me because meter burn roll is invincible. And he didn't know that he had the meter to do this or the trait was up in time. I would have won the match and we're basically playing neutral, right? None of us can get in. Then Zyfox runs up to our setup. And he yells to us and points at the screen, CD Jr., just meter burn roll in. You had your traits back. And guess what? Jr. realizes it in a split second. What he said does it and traits and meter burn rolls in and kills me. But people want to be like, well, if people people's argument at the end of the day for coaching is, well, you would have won anyway if you were playing perfect. That's literally what they're saying. And it's the most egregious nonsense to hear people say that. Like, it, it's it's hella dumb. Let me let me show you. And, and this guy is like, oh, it's better for the viewers. What are you saying? Like, the viewers are happier when people play better. Yeah, they need to be playing better on their own. Like, what? First off, the viewers don't even know what the hell they're watching half the time to make that a, a assessment. Oh, well, we, we want to, uh, you know, we want to see better gameplay. Like, here, here's another one, right? No disrespect to Logan, but he was like, if MMA and Bob, hold on, let me, let me see if I can find this, uh, this, this whole, okay. Say so MMA, okay, it, it is it. Okay, so. He says if, oh, I need to move this out the way, okay. If algebra tests operate perfectly well with calculators, there's zero argument for it not being fine in the arithmetic test other than personal preference. Because he said if MMA and boxing operate perfectly with coaching, there's zero argument for it not being fine within the FGC other than the personal preference. So let, let's read this thread a little more. He said, I did a math degree and took my calculator into every single exam from the age 13. Speed Kick says, why not sooner? 
Logan says, because I was a child and it was necessary, it was a necessary skill to learn, much like learning how to play fight games by yourself at a very basic level. And then speed kicks. Right, so the assistance of the calculator gets in the way of testing the skill. And then Logan says that the test of the skill at that point is irrelevant. He said, exactly. So restated, it will be the test of the skill, which is inferred by calculators. Well, inferred with by calculators. Well, interfere with, my bad. By calculators is more irrelevant on the arithmetic exam than it is in higher maths. That's the idea behind coaching is fine in combat sports, but not in fighting games. So it, it just more stuff. So I'm going to show you how much I've been against this shit since day one. Okay. I, I found a bunch of old tweaks and I just started retweeting them. So also I agree with him. I was not good enough to beat my opponent with my own skill. Coaching should be allowed so that I can still win despite being worse at the game. The most people who are, who are, who are advocating for coaching usually need the coaching or benefit from it. So look, there's no mid-set coaching in uh, Red Bull Golden Letters 2024. All sets are first to three. Then I put, let's see, uh, all right. 2012, look, me, me tweeting. Coaching is lame. It's supposed to be player versus player, not player versus three minds. Because routinely, I would play somebody in tournament, then they'll have like their whole scene come up to coach them. No bullshit. 2013, I was still making tweets about coaching. Coaching should be banned from tournaments. Coaching is lame. 2014, look, I got a tweet for each year. Look, look at the date, 2015. Man, I hate this coaching shit. It needs to be banned from tournaments. And I say, if we're going to allow coaching, then I want 10 minutes to go into training mode after a match. I, <laughs> remember when Evo banned coaching? They actually did. Evo had banned coaching at a time. Look, coaching during, look, 2023. Like, this ain't no new shit for me. I'm not, I, I'm, I've been a 10 toes downer on anti mid set coaching. Okay. This isn't to say I'm I'm against coaching. I'm against mid set coaching. That means if the match has already begun, the set has already begun, that's it. That's all you can do. You didn't get the right coaching before or after the match, too bad. But look, coaching during sets at fighting game tournaments should be banned. Players use this opportunity to ice opponents and get them off rhythm. Delaying the set to get advice, LOL, can't do that online. It's a dirty tactic that has been abused in the FTC for a while. Every player I've seen need coaching kind of shows that they didn't deserve to be up there in the first place. I remember seeing Gym Master's performance, no disrespect to Gym Master. I remember seeing Gym Master's performance with Tom Brady's coaching and without, the performance was drastically different. Basically, you got Gym Master who was like a top three player or first place winner every time if he has Tom on his side. Or if he without Tom, he's just top eight. And I said, on the flip side, every player that asked me for coaching has won their match. But I did it before and after the set was over, not mid-set. Yeah, and I said, every player. And I said, we really in 2019 and people think mid-set coaching is okay. Just tune it out, bro. My RK era. Coaching in fighting games, especially mid-set, is like going to school without your homework done the copying your homie's work before tuning, turning it in. Y'all like coaching till I utilize it. <laughs> Men said coaching should be super banned, but pre-match and post-match is fine. This video is from 2015. Y'all don't know how deep my hate goes for this. So and then, I'll show you this. Wait, shit, I gotta move this over a little bit. Bam. Oh, that was good. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. oh, he tried to go for it. He tried to go for ultra there. Actually, is, um, <laughs> is Charlie's Kosho with Punchy? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll so he, he, he did try to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. He took off the headset. He did not want that. You can tell Blood's face. Oh. That's so smart though. Using the crouching medium punch to stop the EX rush. Yeah, I know. That was a little profile there. That was so smart. That was an unfortunate execution error there from Blood. Yeah. Feel like feel like he could have had that game. He's obviously going for the for sure. Not with him. Shout out to Yell though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good stuff to him. I mean, when you're a Two-time Evo champ, it's hard to... Isn't it three-time? Three-time? I'm not sure. Like, DOA. Okay. Yeah, so you can you can sit and and have as much... Like, back then, you could have as much time as you wanted to get coached. I didn't know when he was going to be done. But it's like, dude, that shouldn't even be allowed. You, it's already, you're, you're already down 2-0. 
You know what I'm saying? Look, here another one. Y'all act like people got... That's another thing. People act like there are designated coaches, but the coaches are people who are still in the tournament. And they're allowed to coach to manipulate the bracket. I know because I've done it. I remember going up to Chris G at EVO 2011 and tell him exactly what to do to beat Michelangelo so he can get in the top eight. If you go look at the results, did Chris G make top eight? Huh. Miss at coaching and fighting games is not just the game specific strategy advice or player specific habit acknowledgement. It's also the morale boosting. So if you didn't say anything to them and they lost, but in another case, you did say something and they won. Would they have won without you saying anything? And yes, you can also say whatever to them and they still lost. But in another perspective, we can say you sabotage them, which is another plus one for why it should be banned. We cannot ignore the full psychological aspect and effectiveness of how far words of affirmation go in those crucial moments. Mid-set coaching also forces a flow disruption. I've seen people get ice from the duration, even if it's just 30 seconds. And here's my anti during set coaching tech. Megaphones. You also can uh, you use uh, the blow horns too. Like my man's here. Oh, you thought you was a mid set coacher? Not today. Not today. No, you not. For real. Like. It, it, it's just, it's out of hand at this point. So. And that's just, that's how it is, man. All right, now, now it's time for that Tekken. I've ranted long enough. But it's, yeah, coaching is not, mid-set coach is not fair. Point blank, period. If y'all both got coaches, fine, but everybody don't ever have two coaches. I mean, they don't ever, everybody ain't got a coach. That's not inclusive. As much as they talk about how things got to be 